Ready for another one, team? Yes. Yep. All right, here we go. Put your hands together for Mr. Nick. Hi, Nick. Good morning, Sharks. How are you today? Great. Great. That's good. Um, today I'll be talking about obesity and some meal plans that I think will help like lower the amount of these people in the world. One question. What, what percent of people in the U.S. do you think are obese? More than 36% of people are obese in the U.S. And um, and that is according to the U.S. Um, Centers of Disease and Prevention. Um, I think one simple meal that would help is chicken and rice because chicken has a good source of protein and is also rich in phosphorus phosphorus, which is an essential material for your body, mineral, for your body that helps your heart and help your heart and your, like, I forgot what it's called. It helps something function. And then white rice is good for you. That's another thing you could have because it helps. Can you speak up a little bit? Okay. It's very quiet. White rice is also another thing you could do because it helps like with your blood sugar and it helps like all your systems flow. Like yeah. Um another one would be um sugar I mean not sugar, salmon salmon and asparagus because salmon is high in protein and it lowers the risk of you getting like heart diseases. And then asparagus would be good because it is low in fat and calories. And it also has minerals that your body needs like every day. And that's it. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Um, do you guys have any questions? Vote for Nick. Why are you passionate about this topic? Well, it's because I've tried like doing some like little meal plans, and, like well, our whole family has, and like we just couldn't like follow through. I suggest starting with that, starting your presentation with why you're connected to it, um, so that people are drawn in. Yeah. Nick, is this a educational? Uh, are you thinking educational, or are you thinking product side? More educational. Okay. How are you wanting to get your information spread out to other people? Probably, I should probably like make a website and you know just go from there. Do you cook at all? Or is it not like your family? Well, I mean, I do cook a little bit, but not yeah. like. Yeah. And who's your who's your audience right now? If you had to pick an audience, who are you going to target? Age-wise. Probably like 35 and up. I'm going to get in the weeds pretty quick because I get very tactical about things, but I would think about where your audience is and how you can reach them and then tell your story. I think um, one of the things I heard recently at a conference is that if you lead with the story, you get people more invested and that they, they want to hear what you have to say. I think with this particular topic, a lot of people are intimidated by meal prepping. I know I am. Like I love the idea of having everything in my fridge buttoned up, ready to go for the week. But when it comes to Sunday and I have to grocery shop and cook in container, I say, <laughs> forget it. What can I order carry out? And so I think if you walk people through the process, like how did your family go about doing this? Why did they cheat? Were they hungry? Was it, was it breaking that sugar demon habit? Or was it just that meal prepping, you know, going from zero to the entire week from the first go was just too much at once? Maybe they should have started with healthy snacks and kind of eased into it. I think you have a lot of opportunity with the content you've gathered now to start really organizing it and honing it in on, here's what I'm trying to reach and here's what I want to accomplish. I think figuring those two things out would be great next steps for you, but I do think you've got you've got a great foundation to build on that. But yeah, talk louder, man. I can't hear you, we want to hear you. Be the expert. You know about chicken. <laughs> 
I'd also, um, alongside that, uh, I think that would enhance the visual presentation that you're able to offer. So um, those of us who have had um, the breakfast of champions, which <laughs> maybe Jack Mix or um, some microwave <laughs> toast. Um, <laughs> those are the slamming of the uh, sharks here today. I know. <laughs> That's where I am right now. So, um, <laughs> um, so, so seeing that um, is a great you know, that's a great grab. What else can you put up on that screen that will um, draw us in even more? And I would say this, Nick, there, do some research, okay? There, there's a, this is a very, very competitive field, all right? There are many reasons why obesity is prominent in our society. Uh, as Casey was saying, I mean, it's, it gets into, you know, we could talk all day about this, but our habits, our busy schedules, our, our children, uh, you know, it's uh, exactly, uh, you know, not taking steps to change your ways, uh, you know, from products, from education, uh, changing your habits early on as, as parents changing their kids' habits. This is, you know, something that you can quickly jump in and, and get more statistical quickly. Uh, a few slides, I would encourage you, uh, put a, you know, I, I, I don't want to sit here and see 30 slides from you, but show a few more things uh, to me. Give me some things that you know make, make me think that you've done a little research here and uh, that you've got some, you know, take me through a path of kind of, uh, here's my introduction, here are my, you know, here's what I'm thinking, here's a conclusion, you know, here's, here's a little bit about my business plan, um, you know, and, and, and give me some content a little bit. Uh, there's a lot out there that you can do on a research side. And again, speak up, you know, again, like we're all saying, be the expert, take us down a path, and, and we'll follow along. And bring samples. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think one of, one of the reasons that we see people going towards like fast food or carry out um, is that, that need of the instant gratification that we are hopefully all trying to break as we're millennials or Gen Z's or whatever you guys are, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> but so I think when, one of the things that you might want to look into is finding those quick and easy recipes to do um, to meal prep and <coughs> should, like maybe like uh, do you have a camera? Do you have a camera at home? Yes. Yeah. So maybe you want to like vlog it and share your experience and show how quick and easy it is. Because I think like we can talk about it all day, but then when someone sees like oh it just took 30 minutes like make my meals for the week, put it in the fridge and go, then when they go and grab that meal, that's gonna be the instant gratification rather than driving through McDonald's. Mm -hmm. So just just an idea, like, again, if you said you don't really cook, maybe talk to your family who cooks, I don't know who does, but see if they'd be interested in helping you mm -hmm. or even teaching you so then you are showing your peers, even though you said 35 and up, um, but how easy it can be. Because mm -hmm. especially with you as your juniors, right? Yeah. So it's like, you guys are going to be co going to college in a couple of years, you'll be moving out, and so again, rather than the ramen noodles, just getting all those carbs, like show easy ways, maybe like dorm room style, or like first apartment, like mm -hmm. how um, easy it can be with like your one pan to do a meal for like the next three days. So just those are some ideas to maybe look into. Honestly, go to Pinterest, like they have that all over Pinterest too, um, for a bunch of different unique things and all healthy options too. To Danielle's point, I had a crazy Sunday where I meal prepped really intensely and I spent hours and hours and hours doing it and I posted it, I mean I, I needed to post it on Instagram because I really needed that like okay this is, this is I, I, need, I needed some love from all the time that I put into it and it started a lot of conversations. I, I went into work the next day and, and this person was like, I've been trying to um, think about meal prepping all the time and I just haven't gotten there, how do you, you know, it, and I didn't, well, didn't even have a project to do. <laughs> so it, it, I mean, that's a good point to, um, to get it out to your peers and, and that'll certainly start conversations. And kind of in that same vein, there are a lot of people that don't cook that still write meal plans for people mm -hmm. and or work with them on their diet and their healthy habits. So don't think that you need to be a top chef to speak on mm -hmm. this because you don't. Mm -hmm. But again, it goes back to you have to kind of do that research and figure out where that lane exists and then plug into it. Or even maybe go and look at like lo local restaurants around here um, and find those healthy options that you would recommend. So if someone's not 
the person that cooks or if they're like going out with friends or something and they want to be picking the healthier options rather than having like pizza or a burger or something like that then like they have oh like I've seen that this is a good option or like this chicken and this rice is a good option so then they're more aware of what's around them to like pick and choose to make their best meal plan for when they go out. Anything else for Nick? Thanks, Nick. 